Hello everyone and welcome to my playthrough of Silent Hill 2 The Remake. This is a game I have been looking forward to for quite a long time, as I'm sure many people have. Um, my history with the Silent Hill games is um, pretty comprehensive. I, I've played all, most if not all of them. I've I, There's like a few games I haven't played, but... Uh, the mainstream ones I have definitely played. I have played shit out of them, mostly. Um, but that, regardless. Um, Silent Hill 2, is, the original, is one of my favorite games of all time. My history with Bloober, on the other hand. Um, I've only played Layers of Fear, and I've only played it once. Uh, I haven't really played anything else. I think I have all of their games, if not most. Um, so I know there's a lot of controversy, uh, behind this game about Bloober not being able to, you know, they're not up to the task of recreating one of the greatest games of all time. And eventually we'll get into that. Um, my, I'm going into this with, okay. As much as I know Sound Hill 2, like front to back, like I know that game by heart, I'm going into this with a completely open mind. I'm not expecting the same game. Uh, in fact, um, as much as I've kind of stayed away from, you know, reviews and news and all that kind of stuff, I know this game is longer than the original, um, almost double the length. You know, Silent Hill 2, the original, I think can be done, uh, like, you pretty much beat that game in like 8, 9, 10 hours. Uh, 10, I, I would think 8 to 9 hours. This game is like 16, 17, 18 hours long. I don't know how they could really expand the game, but again, going into it with an open mind, uh, fresh eyes, uh, I'm going to try and not compare uh, the two games, at least not until the very end, uh, when I give my thoughts and everything. I'm going to play this as if I know nothing about the franchise, as if I know... Well, you don't need to know anything about the franchise, really. Um, but I'm going into this without having... You know, with no knowledge of the original. Okay? And the reason for that is I don't want to be biased. I don't... I, nothing's ever going to compare to the original game. And I don't know if that's what this game's really trying to do. I... Okay, I'm rambling. I know. Let's just get on with the fucking game. Um, again, I'm going to keep any comparisons, anything that really pops in my head uh, in terms of like, that wasn't in the original. I'm going to keep that till the very end. Um, and also, I think I'm going to have these gameplay sessions be longer, probably closer to like hour, hour and a half. Um, just so, uh, you know, I, I just really want to play the game and I don't want to have to wait in increments to like play it. Anyways, let's get into it. New game. So, combat challenge. So, we have light, standard, and hard. We don't really know how the combat's going to be, so I'm going to go with standard. Puzzles, I love the puzzles. I love that they actually have a difficulty setting for the puzzles. I'm going to go hard. And I'm probably going to regret that, but I love the puzzles. Uh, when they give like the options for puzzles in the original games... I always go hard. Uh, interface. So, okay, so uh, what is this? Default setting. Okay, so default shows tutorials and tips during gameplay. Interaction icons more toned down. Ammo display dynamic. Subtitle names on. Okay. So this just shows everything on. And retro is just shows everything off. Uh, let's just go with default. James's mask. So I did buy the deluxe version. Um, which also gave me two days early access. I know I'm a sucker. I know, but hey, I can I can wear a pyramid head pizza box, and I can have a Mira the dog headset or a mask rather. But I'm gonna go with none for now. Graphic mode. Ooh, that's interesting. Now I'm gonna go default, at least for the first time. Alright, I'm so fucking excited, guys.
Oh, they even kept like the loading screens like that. Because they had like the footprints and everything. Okay. Let's do it. music and the original composer Akira Yamaoka from the original Sound Hills who came back and recomposed for this game I can already hear the differences like the guitar going on or the mandolin whatever it is God. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. I got a letter. Are you gonna say it? I got a letter. The name on the envelope said Mary. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. His leg looks like it's like Mary it's... died of that damn disease three years ago. His leg looked like he couldn't hold his balance. It was like before. wiggling. was our special place. Could Mary really be here? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? Now we have control. Okay. What's the run button? Is there a run button? Oh, there's a dodge button. Um, I am also going to be kind of taking my time with this game. Go back in here. I can. Ooh, dark and spoopy. Yeah, nothing in here. Okay. A look at times. Office space for rent.
Sorry, looking in the back seat. If you know, you know. Okay. Press up to open the map. Okay. Julio. Is there a run button? Because I would really love a run button. Oh, there's a quick turn. Oh, that's a run button. We come. All right. Man, this looks really nice. Environments look really well done. Luca Lake. <sighs> the funny thing is I'm kind of getting like Alan Wake 2 vibes already. Just like running through the, the forest. The controller is vibrating a lot, and I don't know why. I'm playing with a controller. The game highly suggests playing with a controller. Because uh, I was kind of planning on going uh, mouse and keyboard. So the story right now is, yeah, James got a letter from his supposedly dead wife. Yeah, this is our save. Yeah, he got a letter from his from his dead wife saying that she's supposedly waiting in their special place in Silent Hill. Where their special place is, we do not know. Not yet, anyway. Hmm. It's like a cemetery of sorts. Sorry, I, I was just... Hey, it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah, I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... I think you should stay away. This, uh, this town, there's something wrong with it. And it's not just the fog either. Is it dangerous? Maybe. It's kind of hard to explain, but. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going either way. But why? I'm looking for... Someone. Someone very important to me. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I mean, my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry, it's not your problem. No, I... Uh, I hope you find them. Yeah. 
You too. Interesting exchange. Oh, it's not looking at the at the stone anymore. The tombstone. Did you uh Did you want anything else? Uh, no, it's just this fog. Does it seem unsettling to you? I guess. Um, it's just through the gate and down the path. You'll get there in no time. Good luck finding your... the one you're looking for. Yeah, I, uh... I should probably get going. Looks like that's all we can do. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen that. A swamp, like, uh, sorry, a cemetery right next to, like, a bog or, like, a swamp. You don't normally want that, do you? Because, I mean, it's always going to be muddy and shit here. Like, in a cemetery, and it's just going to, this place is going to reek. I don't know. Uh, is this where we came in? I'm guessing that's where we came in. So I guess just follow this path, just like she said. Oh, this is new. Can we enter? Can... What does that say? All have sinned. And what? end tall short something God's glory oh all have sinned and fall short of God's glory okay is there a way to get in there guess not Looks like this is the way. <sighs> Let's get out of here. Oh, and immediately the music kicks up. And by the way, um, the music uh, that you'll hear throughout... Uh, well, I don't want to say this game because I don't know, obviously. But... The music is going to be more ambient than anything else. Um, it's not going to necessarily be like hardcore, like, uh, like, what, how am I trying to, that is so funny. You can tell they kind of, okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I can't go there. So, okay. There was a Silent Hill 2 and 3 remaster done, like, 10 years back. And they changed, like, the font on where it said Silent Hill Ranch from the original to the new one. In, like, Comic Sans, and there was, like, a whole thing around it. You could tell they kind of, like, they're making fun of that here. You, you could tell. Um, yeah, just like kind of what you're hearing now. Like, the game is more like this... It's more meant to be, like, tense than actual scary. Interesting. I love uh, 
I love figuring out what's going on, like, based on the environments, you know what I mean? A lot of sounds, a lot of creaking. Auto service the tires. Ooh, can we go in here? Went to town to get the window fixed. Spare keys in the drawer. Okay. Hello? Anyone in here? Actually, I'll look around. I don't get the point of like looking at something when it's just like, uh, uh, uh. Like, why rotate it? Or what? Why? Why bother rotating it? Oh, okay. So here we go. Mary's letter. We can read Mary's letter. So this is the letter that we got. My rest of the streams, I see that town, Silent Hill. You promised me you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now in our special place waiting for you. And a photo from when Mary was still healthy. Okay. Cool. So I'm guessing we need to get the key in order to get through here. Yeah. I'm surprised we can't just like hop the fence like over here, you know? I've always wondered, like, whenever you see, like, trash bins all around here, like, who's collecting trash from here? You know what I mean? Like, does someone actually come here? Like, do trucks actually come through here? Staff only be on this point. This fog is thick, eh? You know what? I kind of see my game stuttering a little bit. Oh, no. Wait. No, what am I doing? Hopefully this will make everything run a little bit smoother. Roadrunner. Officially in Silent Hill, so 
Got a bunch of places we could check out. So I will say, um, <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to say anything. Never mind. <coughs> Let's go exploring, shall we? So we're on Sanders right now. Flowers. Celebrating 70 years. That's cool. Oh. Guess it's not going to be a 71st year. Oh, we actually get to explore inside. Uh, Miss Cassandra, a customer came in today, ordered a mixed bouquet, red and white. Tried to explain his bad luck, but he couldn't decide on just one. He seemed a bit off, looked at me like I wasn't even there. Then he just said, then he just left, said he'd be back to pick him up later. I just wanted to let you know, since I might be gone by then. Okay. going to say, there's a lot of ambient sounds going on. What was that? Ew. What is this? It's either blood, paint, or rust. Or, I don't know, something else. What a, what a dilapidated old town, eh? So here's a here's a legitimate question. You get a what? You get a letter from your wife, your dead wife, no less. And you stop by a bathroom, leave your car there, and just walk like miles to the city because like the road is blocked off like w would you actually do this or would you try and find like another way around to like actually drive into town instead of walking and even then you get to the, you get to the town what what are you planning on doing you don't know where Mary's gonna be because you don't know where your special place is you're just gonna ask around town you know a girl named Mary? Supposedly dead for however long? More of that stuff. It, it, it does seem to be more of that stuff. Yes. It's genuine optical. Alright, let's, let's follow this stuff. Ew. Definitely you. Quite literally a ghost town. Like, what would you do if you walked into a town like this? Like, they look exactly like this. Unkempt. Boxes everywhere. Like, it looks like everything's boarded up. Like, would you would you stick around, or would you investigate, or would you walk away? Be like, fuck that. Because I'm sure there... I was going to say, I'm sure there are actual s towns like this across... Um... Well, I was going to say across the states, but I'm sure ever, there are places in the world hey. where Wait. there are towns like this. Look at that, eh? 
Okay, okay, I hear you. Cool. Do not enter. Area closed off due to accident. Trespassing might lead to injury or death. Okay. That was a weird angle. Ooh, I did that. Huh. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? It's not a Silent Hill game if there's not a broken road. Looks like it goes pretty deep, too. Well, there's no passing that. Okay, but we saw it go this way. Here, maybe? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm liking, I'm really liking the sound design so far. Hello? Yeah, I would not be calling after that thing. I certainly wouldn't be going after it either. Look around to find objects marked by white cloth. Those are objects with tra or traversals you can interact with. Oh, lovely. I get to go... <laughs> well, why? Why would you do this? <laughs> For a second I thought he hit his head on the roof. The, the time is actually for 10 a.m. Uh-oh. Giving us health items, which means there's going to be combat soon. I love, you can hear like, I don't know what that is, a violin string? I don't think it's a violin string. It's a string of some kind. And it's meant to like, uh, make you 
on edge, uneasy. It's fucking brilliant. You see the way it bleeds out? That means it's actually dead. I wonder if they're ever going to do any kind of like fake outs for that. Is this where I came in? Maybe. No, it's not. What's going on with the lighting here? Syringe. I mean, no thanks. I, I, I don't want to use any kind of needles that I just pick up in a fucking, you know, forgotten, rotten, like, house. Like, no. These transitions are weird. Like the the one going into like the fog. That's fine, but like this fade to black just to go back in the game is just weird. Where are you, Mary? Cause fade to black generally denotes like passage of time, right? Unless he was standing here for like ten minutes. Uh, is there anything around here? Oh no, never mind. Oh, shit, I didn't even realize. Barneelys. Uh, yeah, rotate the fucking two degrees, that'll go. Okay. If you're reading this, leave. This place is not what it seems. Sometimes, you just have to look behind. Run away, 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 run away. How crazy would that be if I looked behind the body was gone? What the fuck?
I keep hearing sounds all around me, man. The sound design is so well done. Because it's unnerving. It's like, wh where is it coming from, you know? Okay. Um, I'm heading to a dead end, it looks like. That's fine. I just want to see if there's anything here. There he is. Oh my god. There you go. Ooh, okay, the Texan. Or Cafe Texan, rather. I really love that you can go into some of these places. Uh, fortunately, I don't have a flashlight as of yet. Can't see very well. It's unnerving. It's it's pretty well done. Uh, okay, key items. Uh, coin with Barneely's logo. Uh, rotate, I guess. Why? I mean, it's not much of a zoom. Okay, I get it. I need to go to Barneely's. Or I guess that's something we can do at Barneely's. Should go through it? No. That's cool. I guess if there's items in the car, you can get them. Or I wish we could just, you know, take the car and drive around. Okay, so we need to keep going across and then left. We make a left at Cafe American. Uh, we can stop by Big J's first. Let's see what's there. Oh, it's cool. You can actually hear the telephone. Oh, because the receiver's off. I saw that guy in the distance. These guys can take quite a beating, eh? Big J's. Fucking brutal. You're going to town on these fuckers. I should come in here? I can. 
That man was here again. I told him he'd been warned not to come here. He acted like he didn't know what I was talking about. Anyway, he got up and left. He didn't make any sort of fuss, but there's something about him that gives me the creeps. When I look at his face, it's like I'm staring at a mask. There's something underneath, waiting to get out. You don't want to be there when it happens. Sounds like there's potentially something in here. Yep, there he is. By the way, when the in case you haven't noticed so far, or even in case you haven't figured it out, once the radio goes off, it means there's a monster nearby. This is really bad. So I guess it was just for that note. There's nothing else in here. Doesn't look like anyway. Oh, hi. Oh, motherfucker. Highly effective, mildly effective. I guess let's see how much we can take. How much damage we can take. Okay, American Cafe. Wait, can we actually go in here? We cannot. Not there, anyway. That looks like it's closed off. Oh. Alright kids, don't try this at home. Or on the street. Anywhere you see a police car, don't do this. Nope. Hoping for some kind of like ammo or like health or something. Sound old tavern. Barneelis, here we go. I'm surprised we're going to Barneelis this early in the game. So I guess when we 
get the full thing or a new one. We'll put it in there. I don't know what got into him. He just started smashing the thing. Had to throw him out. He ran off, cried he'd fix everything. I got <coughs> I gathered what I could. Uh, still haven't found one of the buttons. Half the record is still lodged inside, but the other part's missing. I figure he must have taken it. Come come to think of it, he didn't run towards Groovy. Anyway, maybe go check up on him? See if he's alright? He lives over at Saul by the pharmacy. Apartment 9. Ooh, the apartments. And yeah, sorry, I'm doing a lot of saves, but uh, there was a hole here. It's gone now. It's classic. It's from the first game. Okay. So groovy music. So we need to go up and down the street. So, I say let's go up the street first. Let's go to Groovy first. Where? Appetizing. They look so appetizing, don't they? Oh, I can't go in there. The Lucky L Lucky Jade Restaurant. Not so lucky. It's closed. I keep thinking that's like a car horn. Oh, I hear you. Surprise me, huh, you piece of shit. There's something else on the other side. Handgun ammo. Okay. Two! Two handgun ammo. Gonna be like that, are we? Here's the groove place. Can't tell if that's inside or outside. I'm guessing that was inside. Door that wakes in darkness, open into nightmares. Okay. This won't open yet. Not for a little while, I would think. 
nowhere near the nightmares yet. Okay, so it's got to be inside. There you are. Oh shit, there's two in here. Move, move, move. Oh fuck. I dodged him. Let's see if it like kind of heals just a little bit. No, it doesn't look like it does. Okay. Okay. Uh, the janitor came in the other day, drunk and in tears, had half a record with him, kept yelling we gotta fix it somehow. I was willing to do it just to shut him up, so I got, uh, I got up to go get the glue from the cabinet, but then he realized he only had the one half, so he ran out. Can't do much about the record, maybe ask about around at Needy's next time you're there? Might be one of theirs. Okay. Uh, so we're looking for glue. I guess I need to go through there. Even though it looks nothing like it, this place kind of reminds me of uh, the um, record store. The record store in High Fidelity. If you guys haven't seen the movie, fantastic movie. And I know there's a show as well. Uh, I haven't had a chance to see the show yet. What is it? Face the music, find the melody of your dreams, and kick up your heels. Cool. There's the glue. And it looks like there's the other half of the... the record. So can we not go to the other place now? Is it like one or the other? What are you looking at? There you go. I know, I'm just... I'm fucking terrible, I know. Music can bring you back to those wonderful moments you thought lost. Music can do that? Okay. Let's head back. Let's go to the apartment. I'm gonna try and avoid combat if I can. Um, what's down this way? Oh, the Woodside Apartments. This, eh? There's a pharmacy. You go in the pharmacy? I cannot. Okay. 
So we need to get in here. Oh, great. Okay, let's de let's deal with this monster first. I think it's that cockroach there. Or whatever the fuck that is. Seems like it. Department 05. Unexpected. But I will take it. Department 5 of this key says there's a leak from upstairs. Gotta check it out. Interesting. Uh, can it go in this room here? I cannot. Oh, the pharmacy. Nice. Uh, what is this? Relev mid times three. Baralman times three. Zalprazanax times three, Emet Nelimed times three. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna guess. This is gonna be key to something. I'm going to take a picture. Okay. Because I don't have something like that just lying around for nothing. You know, I'm finding a lot of missed opportunities. I almost didn't see that. I'm finding a lot of missed opportunities for doors like being stuck or like the doors are jammed or something. And again, if you know, you know. Before I go in there, I'm just going to check the upper floor, because why not? Uh, never mind. Okay. Very interesting apartment. a weird setup for a TV. Why would you ever put the TV there? Like, why not put it up against, like, this back corner and have it facing this way so at least you can sit down on the chair. You know what I mean?
I love how it looks like James bangs his head. He's like, huh. Huh. Okay, where the fuck am I going? That just that just sounds awesome. Did the whole thing collapse? Yeah, it did. I can't go back out. And then she came and washed it all away. It started to make sense again. It's this place. I can't fight it. Gotta get my head straight. Gotta stop at Texan. Then we're quick stop at Texan. Then we're going. Okay, but we've been to Texan. The cafe Texan. So can I not pick this up? Because this is gonna keep looking at it. Search. Oh, okay. Ew, by the way. Oh, God, do I want to know what's in there? That's it. Come on, James. All right, I guess we're going this way. <sighs> oh, Jesus. completely lost. Uh, so we searched the apartments. Okay, I just want to see what's at the end of the street. I know it's going to be closed off, but I still want to still want to see it. Knew there was something in the Grand Market. Yeah, so he's marking down on his new one. What are you looking at? Oh, there's another one. 
I'll write down what I've learned so far. Maybe it'll help you somehow. If you're reading this, I'm probably dead. Yeah, probably. Okay, let's kill this thing first, and then I'll read the other note. Hi. Thanks for coming out. This place, all it's ever brought me is pain and misery. Yep. Okay. They can be killed, just make sure they stay down. Last note here. It seems like they're attracted to light. Louder sounds as well. If you want to survive, stay in the dark. Stay quiet. Probably won't save you anyway. Well, I'm glad I came down here. So I don't like how there's this loop of like the this ambient sound going. Cause it's it's like a one one minute loop, something like that. You're hearing it way too often. If it was like once every like seven or eight minutes, that'd be a different thing, because it's like unexpected. You forget about it, you know? see you piece of shit. Thought I wouldn't see you. Alright. Uh, let's check out here first. Oh, there's something here. Feel the craving? You just can't help it? Go for it. Happy Burger. What you need is what you get. On the run? Grab something to go. Bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. That was cheating. That was 100% cheating. Game didn't like that I caught on to it. over there. It's fine, but I can't get there. Well, 
Oh, I guess I can. Is there another one? So we're back at Bar Neely's. Um, is there anywhere else I needed to go? Okay, not right now. Bar Neely's it is. So combine, oh, it automatically does it, and that. So the long way home. Okay. And then we have the number two button. want C2 and we need the coin which we have oh now we do C2 Just the two of us staring at the water. Damn, it destroyed the shit out of it. And it dropped. Key, I guess? Yeah, key. Neely's bar key. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we have to go to the park. Okay. I think I'm gonna call it there for the for the first episode. Excuse me. Um pretty good so far. A uh, little bit slower pace than I expected, but that's okay. Um, you know, if you're if you're extending the game 
an existing game by by you know by half or you're doubling the length rather there's going to be some like filler there's going to be like more puzzles and shit involved otherwise what's the point right but that's okay um i'm i'm liking it so far um and i'm again reserving i'm i'm reserving any kind of judgment until uh until we beat the game i'm gonna hold my thoughts until then um i already have quite a bit i want to talk about but again saving it till much later but i hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far um i'm i'm excited to to keep going in the meantime guys thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care